Miran. Ha! Huh. So you're Hawk, the nephew. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. I'm ready to prove myself. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Gave us bad info. Almost killed my men. Now he's hiding out here, waiting for a ship. He sees us coming, he'll run for sure. But he doesn't know you. Go kill him and his men. Yeah. We'll make sure no one asked why. Even though that sounds like mighty amounts of fun, I'm trying to play a good guy, so maybe the smugglers will be a, a little bit of better suit. Because I don't think they'll probably not be killing people as much. Are you a Fenril? He must be Gamlin's nephew. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. Uh, how much exactly? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle's I do like to plans, investigate I sometimes. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. Oh my god, how did she know I that? I didn't realize Gamlin had told you that much. The Templars in Kirkwald like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking... That is sort of an interesting us. point, because be like, time. in every Dragon Age, you always have apostates. Tell me what you need <laughs> done. It's like their... Their occurrence is rather Cabo, frequent. Templars. So they let him set up his little shop here in the gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. And you're in, man. You are so in. Alright then. Talk to Merchant Caverill then. I've already told you, I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city, I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron. Your business is done. But. Brooding presence. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. I want to hear this. So, Ethenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. This is kind of interesting, uh... You can kind of like talk to your teammates now, so I'm actually gonna do that right now. See what Evelyn does. Better step in here. Only because this toad deserves it. You have a choice: pay, or I beat it out of you and your men. <laughs> hey, stay back. Just uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. Uh, Done. Two sovereigns. You could have given us something more challenging. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Level up. We need some magic, we need some willpower, and we need some more magic. We are going to get... Heals, heals, heals.
Yeah. We need to heal. Just in case. Also, since I'm controlling this guy most of the time, it's good to have all the heals and stuff on one character. Any luck? Was there ever any doubt? I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. No more running for our lives unless we really have to. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. <laughs> well, we're off to a kill. fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. Champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the Champion's home now. So he remained, paying off his debt, made a name for himself in the Underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Stays tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best, and we're No! You're too late. Already done. The money from this trip could fix everything. You need us. We've fought Darkspawn. Look, precious. I don't care if you tore the horns off an ogre with your bare hands. You make him understand. We're running from your bloody Templars. <laughs> My brother has a point. It's on his head, but it's still valid. Oh, thanks for that. So what about it, Bartrand? This guy. Just Am I right? Need. Like, what a jerk. for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. Well... After waiting for someone to turn us in. Is that those Dwarven guys in the background? Oh, man. You can relax. After all, the Templars dogging us are mine. Did I sound that bad? Maker, I'm turning into Gamlin. Gamlin? He's got a head for this garbage. Maybe he can talk to Bartrand. He knows some people. After last week, we need all the coin and influence we can get. You catch more flies with honey. But Gamlin's bullshit could work too. Well, you did get us into the city, right? What else can we do? We're losing ground, and I don't fancy waking up in the gallows. Hey! Oh man! <laughs> Owned. I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <clears throat> How do you do? Varric Tethrus, at your service. Varric. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would? I would. 
What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. There must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us on. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. 50 sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. 50 sovereigns! Does it think I'm made of money? Come on. It's like 20 minutes in the game. Come on. Uh, let's see here. What's your big plan? I hope there's more to this. <coughs> like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with dark spawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Come on. Ooh. The dwarf makes some sense. No offense. Look, you started this, and it's a good idea. Certainly better than ending up in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? Why not? It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job, and you'll have the money in no time. Ooh. Sure. Easy. But... Maybe Aveline's got some bounties out. She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what That guy just phased in. Ah, high town. Where the rich go to piss their money away. <laughs> let us level. Thunder. Taunt. Actually, maybe I should get him taunt. Huh. What is this? Rally. Rally might be a good one. Dexterity. We're gonna keep this guy ranged, cause, cause he's already built that way. Really I'm sure there'll the be best place in some Kirkwall. melee dudes later on. But I, I really don't have any idea, like any characters that are in this game or anything. This is like the first time I've played this, so <laughs> obviously there's just gonna be lots of discovery. You know, Junior, it's eerie how much resemblance there is between you two. We're brothers. What's eerie about that? Oh, you thought I meant Hawk. I was talking about gambling. <laughs> Maker, I hate you, dwarf. Oh, I love the banter in these ah, games. Long time no see, my friend. Well, if it isn't worthy, the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> I only advertise the truth. You aren't still working for a Thenwell, are you? Your year must be up by now. I'm looking to become an explorer. Of a sort. I heard. Bartrand's hard to take. But his information is usually good. Hard to take? <laughs> that's putting it mildly. I'll tell you what, One of the interesting things I about this old dwarf guy you that's on our team is like, done, I can arrange he doesn't have a beard. <laughs> take care, Hawk. <laughs> so that's Don't kind of interesting dead. already. He must be kind of like, uh, like a different setting or something. Looks like we got some crafting stuff, but we have like literally no money or runes or anything like that. So we're probably not going to mess with any of that stuff for a long time. <laughs> Let's go talk to Evelyn. Evelyn Schmevelin. Codex entry? Yeah. I'm not going to take the time to read the codexes on the live stream. I might later on my own time, but if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff... That sucks, because I'm not going to put it on. Let anyone into 